it's time for us to go shopping at a very unique estate sale. Are you ready? Hi there, I'm Tanya with Free Range Cottage and around here we love to go treasure hunting at thrift stores, estate sales, flea markets, garage sales, you name it. However, we can get the style we're looking for on the budget that we like. So today I'm sharing with you a very unique estate sale that we went to and it was a gorgeous mid-century home and it was past its prime granted, but still very unique and just stacked and filled with collectibles and all kinds of pieces. So we're gonna go through that and then I'm gonna show you uh, the haul of some things that I got there and at some other estate sales. So stay tuned for that. We came in through the back of the house by accident. So my video is kind of not in order, but I'm gonna walk you through it. There's the front door. This is really one of the most unusual houses I've ever been to at an estate sale. This was a huge window inside the house. And downstairs was the kitchen, dining room, and a living space. Upstairs were all the bedrooms, and as well as another living room. So it was laid out kind of different. This is the front door that we should have come in. And you can see there's some terracing there. The reason I'm showing that is the dirt is up there and that is where the windows end in these um, unusual mid-century bedrooms. You look out the bedroom windows and you see the ground level. This was, I believe, a carport they had covered. They had a whole other storage bin out there that they were unloading. There were all kinds of things as you can see. There were collectibles and different things for from just decades I'm sure. From what I understood the the one of the owners of this house was a woman that was a singer that traveled all over the world. They had beautiful turquoise pieces which of course I was loving, but most of them were not in my price range. I didn't look really closely. This was the living room area on the upstairs. And I didn't get a full view of it because this is where they were checking people out and I didn't want to get a lot of people in the camera. The estate sale ladies were fine with me videoing, but I didn't want to get people on video and you can see some of the authentic antiques and some of the prices on some of the furniture. A lot of beautiful collectibles here. And they did tell me that they were going to keep having the sale for several weeks in a row just because there was so much in the house and that some of the prices would come down a bit. I loved this crane teapot. So unique. Like I said, a lot of these were authentic antique pieces and the prices reflected that in most of them. Although we did find a few things which I'll show you. You can see just how full this house was. This was just the one living room. So could be kind of overwhelming as well. I give them credit for being able to get all this cataloged and priced. A lot of beautiful jewelry pieces, books, collect all kinds of collectibles. This was actually the fireplace hearth. And you'll see how large it is when I back up here in a minute. That's the opening to the fireplace. 
fit all of that in there. I can't imagine what a roaring fire that would have been in there. But you can see this was the, my back is to the living room now. And you can see there was just that sort of catwalk across. This was a beautifully done kimono. And then you turn and you go into the master bedroom here. I'll just kind of walk through and then I'll come back and show you a little more detail. Really did love this rattan piece here. I thought it would look so good as a plant stand. Or of course for dishes or books. And it really was reasonable price wise. Some areas were closed off, like the bathroom there was closed off. And I'm wondering if part of the kitchen downstairs was closed off. I don't know because it was very small for the size of this house, so I'm not sure. But you can see there's a big window also in this master bedroom that looks down on the downstairs again and you can see the native stone wall there we'll be going down there in a minute but very much the center point of the home that huge dining room rob really liked these books they were 15 dollars a piece at the time so we went ahead and passed on those even though they were probably worth it. We didn't look them up. They were really neat books on art. A lot of beautiful quilts. So many beautiful tapestries and quilts. This is one of the bedrooms down the hall, which I will take you back down. You go out of the master, go down that catwalk, and there were small little bedrooms for the size of the home also and the ceilings were kind of low in them so I don't know if that was a mid-century thing but of course this cabinet was something to obsess over I absolutely that was probably my favorite piece in there but you can see the price that was on it but and there's out the window you can see the the yard right there level so these were kind of below ground I guess in the front it was kind of a hard um, layout to figure out exactly what the thoughts were behind it. I had to go back and look at this one, give it one last look <laughs> before I said goodbye. Lots of memorabilia. So there were hallways here with lots of artwork. And you can see it's all the, I believe it was five bedrooms off these hallways here. And they were all quite small, lower ceilings, but they did have some uh, large windows, a lot of stone work through the house and wood. But there was a, a good amount of light in those bedrooms. But here just rugs and tapestries and quilts just everywhere. And that was the center point of the house where they got a lot of light in with the built-in planter. And you'll see more of those downstairs as well. And who knows how old that indoor tree is there. And again, coming back to the front. And then turning around and going back to, that was that living room with all the collectibles. This is the back bedroom that I went to. And there were just all kinds of clothes. Some beautiful antique pieces. 
I didn't get a chance to look through the, the clothes very long, but the shoes were all in my size. And many, many of them were brand new in the boxes. And even the ones out of the boxes were like new. And a lot of them were very expensive brands as well, the ones that I recognized. And here's that hallway with the artwork again, skylights throughout the house. And another bedroom, you can see the lower ceiling there. And another bedroom just full of collectibles and valuables. A lot of really neat pieces in here. A lot of Native American. Those, arrow, those framed arrowheads I really loved. Most of them were out of my price range this early in the sale. But a lot of great finds in this place. And there is that big window again. And we're going to go in that room. So the living room that was above we've been in, there's that planter that we saw from above. All that stone, mid-century lighting. This is all sort of a, I think it was a concrete, stained concrete floor in the red, which would be very mid-century. And that was the kitchen back there which seemed really small to me for this kind of house. Some very pretty candle holders. Just anything you collect or have an interest in, you could pretty much find here, I think. So this was the kitchen there. And it was, that's where we had come in by accident. It was just little little and into this is this is a spectacular just showstopper of a dining room and I imagine they did a lot of entertaining or a lot of holidays here and it was just really really stunning but there's that big window with the stairs but it also had that little bit of overtone of you know sadness that this is an era that is kind of over. Beautiful Tiffany lamp. It reminded me a lot of, if you've read Great Expectations, Charles Dickens, Mrs. Haversham's dining room. Just so many, those crystal chandeliers there, or sconces rather, I'm sure they were dusty. And once they were cleaned up, they would probably be really stunning as well as this chandelier. But just look at the size of this dining room was just shocking. And I had to go back to it a couple of times at least and just wander around because it was just such an interesting place to be. And of course, just filled with dining room pieces for entertaining and serving and just uh, tabletop galore. You just, I don't, I'm not sure where all this would be stored back in the day when they had this in use. But here is another built in native stone planter. And all these plants are doing beautifully. So they're really thriving on that natural light. Again, a huge tapestry or rug that's been framed.
But you can see this is definitely past its glory days. The video makes it probably look in better shape than it actually was. It would take a lot of love and money to get this back to modern living. The layout, I feel like, would have to be tweaked a bit. But what a unique place. All the spode Christmas dishes. I can imagine it's a beautiful Christmas dinner here back in the day. The candelabras always catch my eye. Not that I have a place to keep them or use them too much, but I really think they're beautiful and elegant. I can't even imagine how many people you could seat in this dining room. As many as you wanted, I would imagine. Here's the little carolers. I have a neighbor that has a collection of those that she brings out at Christmas. And that stone wall just goes all the way down the full length of this dining room. And I would say the ceiling height it had to be at least 14 feet, 17 feet. This baby grand was sold, and I actually was seeing a lot of sold signs on a lot of this furniture. Okay, are you ready for an estate sale haul? I found some great stuff that I can't wait to share with you. And I'm sorry about if there's a little bit of a hum sound in the background across the street, there are three guys blowing leaves. So um, I can hear it here. I don't know if the microphone picks it up, but now you'll know it's not a UFO on my front lawn or anything. So a lot of times with the estate sales, it's a little bit different than a thrift haul as far as from thrift stores and garage sales and such, because a lot of times the prices are a little bit higher, but the quality and the, what do we want to say, collectability of it is a lot higher, but just such unique finds. A lot of these estate sales we've been going to are from people that have been collectors for decades and it's just real true treasure hunting. So I'm just going to start right in. I've got, let me just tell you some of the stuff I have. I've got some wood pieces. I've got some brass. We did go to an estate sale that the couple had lived in Saudi Arabia for quite an extended period of time and they had some beautiful stuff there. And we actually went on the second day and when things were half price and there were still some things left. And so we got some great things there that I'm gonna show you. The first thing I'm gonna show you though is from that mid-century house and it's this pottery platter. And this says, it just says Chris on the back. So it looks like somebody handmade this piece but the glaze on it is really pretty. It's sort of a turquoise and it kind of bleeds into a light blue and then a sort of a stone gray. Really pretty and I really liked it because you don't often find a big pottery platter like this. Usually you'll find a smaller plate or a bowl, but the platter was so unique and I paid five on this. Next, also from that mid-century sale, the prices were fairly high because it was one of the first days. I guess they were doing it for several weeks in a row. We never did go back. I wanted to. I need to check in to see if they're still going. 
but they had a room that had everything in it half off and they said they were adding more things to it and this was one of the things we found and this was a vintage sort of jingle bells on a leather strap and you can see they do the true jingle bell i just love them and i think we paid a dollar fifty on those that was a great price on those and you can see the nice patina on those next we found this brass school bell hello school's in session or it would be good for a dinner bell dinner time it has a really pretty ring to it actually and it's loud and we paid five dollars on that and you can see gorgeous vintage patina and it's fairly heavy brass here really like that piece and then also from that mid-century house was this mortar and pestle i always love a good mortar and pestle this one is quite heavy brass again and i don't see a marking on it it's got some wording on it and such so you can see it's kind of 1975 and then on this side it's got the rx i can't read backwards first american pharmacy journal secundum artum or something it says on the bottom but you can see and it's it's quite heavy and so we paid this was in the half off room also we paid 10 on that then there was a whole room of clothing which i would love to go back and see and what do you know she wore my shoe size and there were just boxes of brand new shoes in size six and a half and seven which is what i wear and i ended up buying these cute little sort of rain boots i don't know what brand these are but they are brand new and they're just adorable green so if anybody knows what kind these are and i paid five dollars on these and then also we found the cutest little brass sort of miniature pitcher paid two dollars on this let me show it to you up close paid two dollars and it's got a lot of detail on that made in india Let me show you that so a cute little collectible if you do miniatures you know what would look cute in this is some i'm thinking matchsticks and you hang that on a little hook somewhere by your maybe by your fireplace or somewhere that would be cute and i think the last thing we got from that sale was this really sweet little crock piece here's the lid it's again in those pretty caramely browns that seem to be coming back in be just because they're so earthy and organic looking this would be great for a butter keeper or sugar bowl would be beautiful and it is oh it's hard for me to read that i'll hold it up and you see what you think maybe some of you would recognize that mark but just a cute piece it's definitely got some crazing it's definitely an older piece with the crazing okay next we went to an estate sale that we didn't have a lot of time it was on a different day and we just had enough time to get out there it was about 30 minutes away it was still in our town but it was out on the lake and it's really fun to go to a lot of these houses because you just get around to the different towns and you see neighborhoods and such that you didn't see before and when we pulled up you could not tell but when you walked up the sloped driveway pure lake view it was really stunning so we looked around in this place and what i ended up finding even though it was kind of pricey 
um, I found some copper pieces that were just really, really in great shape, just stunning, heavier pieces. I love it when they have the brass handles. So this was one, I feel like I paid six for this. I don't have the prices still on these. So they were five or six dollars each. Um, this one is just a, um, doesn't have sort of the bumps, like the eggs holder bumps on there. Oh wait, here's a price. This one was actually 10. It was bigger, but look at the handle on that. And actually I paid less than 10 because he gave me a, a discount once I got up to the up to the counter. This one's got a little dent on it right there, but not anything too crazy. And just so pretty. I know a lot of people hang these. I've been collecting the pans and they're hanging in my pantry. And just when you put this vintage copper up, it's just so warm and such a European farmhouse kind of look. And then I got one more that was, it's saying 12, but again, I got probably like a 25% discount off of those. But look, this is such a nice size and in such good shape, just beautiful shape. And there's the handles up close. I just love a good copper pot. And I know a lot of you do because you've told me that you do. But again, just trying to see these all hanging together. So that was a great deal there. I also got, um, oh, I'm getting a package delivered. <laughs> I also got a shoe container. I don't know if my mailman wants to be on <laughs> a haul video, but he is now. And uh, I also got a, a shoe container for actually two of them. They have like all these cubbies in them. And I got those for $15 for the pair. So again, something practical that I've been needing and looking for. So I, I really like um, to for those finds as well as the vintage great finds. And then just at some random uh, flea markets, we had found, we're always on the lookout for really pretty brass pieces to put on our Etsy or to have here at home. And don't forget to check out our Etsy. We have over 50 things listed on there now and they're all unique finds. So be sure and check that out. And these we found, and I don't remember how much we paid on these. I think it was 12 for the set, but look how beautiful they are. Very unique. I hadn't seen any like this. And again, I know I've said this before that I really like the lower candle holders for on the dinner table because you can get the shorter candles and then it's not just right in your face when you're um, sitting at the dinner table with other people. But I really love these little guys. They're heavy. They've got beautiful carving and beautiful patina on them. And then we found these set of three for $10. And I am just obsessed with these. They're so cool. And it says solid brass on the bottom, made in India. Look at that. With that twist. There's this size. Let me back up here. And this size. And let me see if I can get the other one. And then this size, just a bit taller. So they're, they're staggered in size. Just such, again, beautiful patina, really unique. Not something you're gonna find just off the shelf somewhere. Very unique. So are you into finding the copper and brass pieces like we are lately. And I do love a good silver or silver plate piece as well. Okay, and for my last group of items, they were from that estate sale that we went to on the second day and it was half off and things were mostly gone, but there was still quite a bit. And they were people that had lived overseas in Saudi Arabia and had a lot of things from there. Just beautiful stuff. So the first thing that I found was this brass trivet 
with the ele elephants and it sits this way for your hot things or I'm sure you could hang it on a wall or something if you wanted to but I really like it for in the kitchen and it's a nice heavy piece next we found this brass bowl I can't even tell you how heavy and beautiful this is it, I can't imagine how much I would have paid for this in a you know even if i could find it in a retail store it's very thick and it's heavy and just look at that patina on there it looks like something from a very high-end store that imports antiques or what have you and i'm trying to remember what we paid on this maybe eight dollars on this between eight and ten something like that and on the trivet, I'm not sure. These are two things that Rob picked out. It seems like if I pick it out, the prices stick with me, even if they're not on there. I tend to remember the prices, but if he picked it out, I tend to forget them because I never really even paid attention. So also we found even more beautiful brass. And this is one thing, they're these sort of stands these could be a plant stand this could be a cake stand this could have candles just decorative used for anything and you can see it's got some etching on it and sort of a lacy edge and it's just beautiful and i'll show you the close-up of the legs just really really well done there were two of those and those were $12 each. You might be able to see, yeah, you can see this one doesn't have quite as much patina on it. So you can see sort of the etching on it a little better. But you can see the size of these are a nice size. And of course, my mind was thinking plants in. Uh oh he lost one of his little cups was this great wooden piece this camel what do you think of this guy isn't he amazing paid 10 on this and look at the detail and the carving he's really big let me see i'm gonna go back yeah look how big that is and it has these little side buckets that come off and just the the beautiful wood patina on this is really worth having to me I mean it would just add that warmth and organic feel anywhere any shelf tabletop wherever you might put it countertop another wood piece that I thought was just so cute I paid $3.50 on this and it's just like a Probably a laser cut piece maybe because of those burn marks and definitely I think vintage just based on looking up close at it and such a cute piece these um, sort of 70s themed items are so back in for a boho feel or just to to mix with your modern or to mix with even farmhouse just to change it up a little bit um, these types of retro things are really getting popular so just a cute piece to hang up in a bathroom or a bedroom be really cute in a kid's bedroom this would be actually really cute in a nursery or somewhere like that also more beautiful heavy brass this is the pestle here you can hear it makes it makes a sound it actually has a beautiful ring to it and you can see up close the finish on it here and on the inside it's a heavy piece I can't even tell you how heavy and we paid 24 on that for both pieces and you can see the size on that it's a pretty good size uh, we've got this great little pig bank. It's got the stopper thing in it. It's heavy and it's got the hole here. It's got the pig face 
and the little ears. You can see all the detail on this guy. And we almost left without him and because it, he was $20, but at the very end, both of us really liked him and we grabbed him and put him up there. And you can see the size on this. The piggy bank that won't break. It seems like all the piggy banks we've always had tend to get broken. So this guy's not gonna get broken. And Rob actually found this beautiful little made in Ireland Waterford crystal little ring holder and it's just sparkly and gorgeous and just a real vintage feel something for your dressing table or by your sink to take the rings off or whatever just a really pretty pretty piece and then of course you know i love my baskets so i found this one and i just really liked the shape and size of it I thought it would be really handy in the kitchen or in the my clothing closet. A lot of times I'll use baskets. And I just loved that it had that little bit of dark gray or black going through it. And I sort of just really like the patina finish on it. I think I paid uh, $2 for that basket. And then I found these. You know I love a good basket find. These actually are very similar. This one's more squared off on the bottom. This one's rounded, a little bit more rounded. But I paid 12 for the big one and eight for the small one. The patina, I just have to show you. It's hard to just get the feel for it. You can see. And I don't know what I'm using them for yet, but I think they're just beautiful. And this one is so big, I couldn't resist. But then this little guy, I thought would be just so cute for plants. I'm always thinking plants because I have a lot of them. And that was all that we found other than I did find, and this was not an estate sale, it was Facebook Marketplace, but I did find this six gallon crock and I paid 30 on that, and I think it's just a beauty. I do have a little collection of these going, and I'll definitely use those in Christmas decorations and such, but I looked up the value of that, and they're worth quite a bit more than that, so I was happy with that find. And that's gonna be the end of my thrift, or my actual estate sale haul today and let me know if you've had any great finds lately let me know if you have estate sales in your area i know some of you say you can't find them and i always look on estatesales.net and estatesales.org and i also look on facebook marketplace possibly craigslist or if you're on facebook and there are different groups uh, some of them will list estate sales but I just look for them um, everywhere I can think of. And a lot of times we'll just be out and about and see an estate sale sign. And we found some great things that way too. And we'll see you next time here at Free Range Cottage.